Tonkatsu is the greatest cutlet, and there are many cutlets. And the reason why is so simple, it can be boiled down into two words, panko breadcrumbs. And while there's a lot to be said about panko, the reason why I'm making this video is to share something that can lead to a massive improvement in really any cutlet, which is how to totally rebuild the breading process. And if you want the quick take, here it is. Make a culinary glue of three parts egg whites to two parts cornstarch. Dunk the cutlet into it and then cover it in breadcrumbs. It's that simple. But if you want to learn why it works so well, as well as how to make a delicious yuzu bulldog mayo, stick around. I'm going to start by butterflying a pork loin. Basically, make one cut almost all the way to your cutting board and then a second cut all the way through. And then unfold them and put them onto plastic wrap. And this part is totally optional, but I really like to add some extra flavor here. So I'm going to add thyme leaf, zested lemon, and gochukaro chili powder to both sides of the meat. Now you just need to lightly pound them. And the best way I've found is to cover the top with another layer of plastic wrap and lightly hit them with a mallet or even the side of a knife if you don't have one. And now it's time to bread, but first I wanna share why I think this can and should be improved. Tonkatsu is very much a take on the European breaded cutlet. And while the updated breadcrumb led to a massive improvement, the breading itself has largely remained the same. And there are two reasons why I think this should be improved. The first is how complicated it is. I don't know about you guys, but I hate doing dishes and I will do almost anything to get out of them. And the second is the breading itself. You see, to me, a breading is all about maximum crispiness. And there are two things in the traditional breading that are really getting in the way of that. The first is the wheat flour. In the modern world, we have much better pure starches than wheat flour that will get much crisper, like cornstarch. And the second are the egg yolks, which contain fats and lecithin, which will never get crispy, as opposed to an egg white, which is almost pure albumin and able to get incredibly crunchy and delicious. So what I'm gonna do is make a glue by combining two egg whites, which weigh 90 grams, with 60 grams of cornstarch and whisking it together. And I'm calling this a glue because that's exactly what it's gonna do. It's gonna stick the panko to the pork. So just dunk it in and let all the excess run off and then cover it in panko. Check out how much more panko is on this cutlet versus the one that I bred of the traditional way. And this doesn't even show how much more crispy the actual egg white and cornstarch mixture is gonna get. All right, now that that's ready, it's sauce time. Now this is the classic bulldog sauce. And it's delicious. Feel free to use that. But, but this wouldn't be a cooking channel if I didn't show you guys a better way. So I am going to turn this and this, which is yuzu juice, and this, which is bonito flakes, into a mayo. It's gonna be delicious. I'm using 45 grams of pure yuzu juice, 45 grams of bulldog sauce, and 45 grams of a concentrated dashi, which is made by boiling 90 milliliters of water and pouring it over 25 grams of bonito flake, and then letting it steep like a tea for 10 minutes and then straining it out. Combine these with two egg yolks and a pinch of salt in a food processor, and then drizzle in 500 milliliters of grapeseed oil while it's running. Pick your poison on a veg, but I'm going with the classic thinly sliced cabbage dunked in ice water to crisp it up. Okay, let's wrap this up. I'm filling this cast iron pan a little less than halfway full with canola oil, bringing it to 400 degrees and frying the katsu on both sides until it's golden browned and crispy. Then I'm gonna drain it on a towel and season it with salt. Listen to that crunch. Mm, oh, that's fresh. That thyme and lemon really takes us to the next level. I gotta say, it turns out that yuzu bulldog mayo is like perfect. That little brininess from that dashi in there, it's mind blowing. And there are endless applications for this breading process, but those are all topics for another video. So that's all for me. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.